Longboat Key, big empty field, golf behind us. Where are we? Hi everyone, my name is Mike Rennick. I'm the team lead, the senior broker of Team Rennick, part of that great Mangrove Realty Associates family. My guest this Sunday morning, Mr. Steve hey. Reed. One of these days we'll lose these masks, but not quite yet. Steve is the owner publisher of the Longboat Key News and the Sarasota City News. So big open field well here's the golf here's my advice okay. enjoy it because the town of longbow key didn't buy another park they didn't they <laughs> they bought town center for five so, million we didn't buy this is right this will be this soon will transform believe it or not world will transform into a saint regis resort and condominium replacing what was the colony so we're standing on the vacant land from the colony the last time steve and i were standing on this land the building was still here and we took a tour through some of the condos yeah. the restaurant the monkey bar so much that. tennis and memories on this yeah. site 17.3 acres of prime golf front that has sat vacant for 10 years with legal battles and here's the latest news but, but let me we, ask this. Yeah. we reported already that um, where they're at with the development, what's going yep. to happen with the St. Regis. Yep. We're back because of why? Well, the last thing we reported was Unicorp, Chuck uh, Whittall, consolidated ownership. Once he consolidated ownership, he could do what he wanted to do for the last five years, march forward and start building the project. He's got an approved building plan for 69 residential units and 165 hotel rooms. So two different aspects to the project. Yep. The hotel or the commercial, but then the 69 or the residences. And that's what, as okay. you know, wait, wait, you're in real estate. Yes, I am. Pre-sales. Yes. He needs oh. those pre-sales. And, and he's being very successful 70%, right now. I just got off the phone with uh, Chuck Whittall, 70% have already, already been, sold. been sold. So that's way beyond the threshold for financing. He's in good shape. He's bullish, ready to go, but. but they want to make some changes. Well, As everyone knows, <laughs> in real estate, there's always a last minute thing, right? Always. Okay, so here's the last minute thing. Chuck has been negotiating with, with some folks that own a couple of, they're buying a couple of the uh, residential units, previous colony owners, and they want to have the ability to rent these residential units out for less than 30 days, which they used to be able to do at the old colony. Right. The town has only approved the 69 residential units and the 165 tourism. Chuck wants to use two of those 69 residential units as tourism units. So that would allow the short-term rental. Short-term rental, not the, part of the hotel right. though. They but won't the, be in the hotel, they'll be the, big units. The 67 units would still be on a monthly rental basis if folks wanted to rent them out that owned them? Yeah, yeah, okay. they, they'll probably just be residentially owned. Okay. But the other two will accommodate, there's a handful of owners who didn't want to be bought out by Chuck. Mm -hmm. They wanted access to the property. Mm -hmm. So the other two will probably be rotated among those owners. They'll have lovely units on the golf like they used to have and they'll rotate them among about seven or eight owners who want to have a month at a time or less than a month, maybe two weeks. That's the idea. Chuck wants to ask for this, but it's Longbow Key and here's the conundrum. It's a good and a bad thing. The good thing is government offers a lot of control and protection. Yes. The bad thing is government you offers yeah, a lot of control and protection. You want to get something done. You say, I want to, you know, put a new post on my mailbox. They send out the squad. Yes. And, you know, zoning, permitting. So this, this short term rental is a big thing on Longboat Key. Very big thing. The other big, bigger thing than that is density. Do you, are you adding to tourism units or not? Now, Chuck's says, and I think he's correct legally. I don't want to act like I'm a land use attorney, but his point is, the colony was originally 237 tourism units. Mm -hmm. We're asking for far less than was there. So the density is there. This is a simple commission approval and will make the project better. If anything, it's not changing the size or anything. Do you know when they're slated to go back in front of the commission? No, because now you're into the, it has to go to P, it has to be reviewed by staff. Mm -hmm. They make a recommendation, goes to P and Z. They make a recommendation, goes to the commission. We're looking at probably June. Okay. And then, Chuck wants a couple of other little things. These aren't major structural things, but they're little enhancements to the project. One is he wants to build the Tiki Bar, which will be called the Monkey Room after Murph. Again, yeah. Closer to the water. Okay. He wants a second story um, bar 
that overlooks the water on top of the roof. Okay. A rooftop, only two stories. He was trying to make clear this isn't five and six stories, two okay. stories. Okay. You know, th little little things like that. And then he wants to have more covering of the air conditioners on the rooftop so they're more uh, covered and, and more visually pleasing. appealing. Yeah. Things like that. They all ask go before the commission. They signed and sealed a done envelope. That'll mm -hmm. go back. Once it's approved, he gets his building permits. He wants to start this summer. It looks like it's a go, but this he's has to go before the commission and anything so can this happen is part of in an, the commission. Yeah, part of any project though, there's some refinements, some enhancements going True. on. The, co the commission could say yes, they could say no, they could come back with some modifications of their own. This is all part of my promise to keep you up to date. The colony, once again, is back in the news. There'll be more. Once we start breaking ground and we start building, we'll keep you with regular updates also. Yes. Steve, thank you. I appreciate thank you. that. Stay tuned. More to come. Thanks Take for care. watching.